Think of your engine as an air pump, sucking air in and pumping air out. Knowing your engine's basic function is one thing, but do you know what's inside your engine besides oil? Our cars use what's called an internal combustion engine, using air, fuel, and spark to make timed explosions inside the engine, which results in the generation of power. The engine block is what we'll focus on this time. It's home to the main reciprocating assembler. It contains the crankshaft, main caps, connecting rods, and pistons. The cylinder block, also known as engine block, has cylindrically bored holes for the pistons. This complex part provides mounting locations for the cylinder head, transmission, crankshaft, engine mounts, and contains important coolant and lubrication passages. The top of the block where the cylinder head and engine block mate together is known as the block's deck. Let's get inside the short block now, starting with the pistons. The pistons are located in the cylinders of the block and are made gas tight by piston rings. The piston's purpose is to transfer force from expanding gas in the cylinder to the crankshaft. Connecting the piston to the crankshaft are connecting rods. The small end goes to the wrist pin and the big end to the crankshaft's crank throws. The crankshaft translates reciprocating linear piston motion into rotation. It's mated to the block by its main journals and bolted down with main caps. Each journal utilizes lubricated bearings to minimize friction.